Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's Giga Shanghai expansion project moves forward with new approval. Tesla vehicles are increasing Hertz's customer satisfaction, still adding more EVs to the fleet. Tesla secures battery material supply deals with two big Chinese companies. And Tesla partners with National Technical School to train next gen of EV technicians. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. A portion of Tesla's manufacturing expansion project was officially commissioned by the Shanghai Municipal Bureau of Ecology and Environment on July 22, nearly a month after Tesla completed the construction of the second phase of the project. Documents show Tesla completed the line expansion upgrades on June 30, with commissioning set to be the only step left before production could begin once again. The project was officially approved on July 22, the documents show. Construction began on January 30, 2021. The Bureau's description of the project states the following. The project includes production processes, such as vehicle stamping, welding, painting, and final assembly. After the project is completed, the production capacity of pure electric vehicles will be added. According to environmental impact assessment documents submitted by the Bureau of Ecology and Environment, this phase includes the construction of a new body shop, new welding stations, and a paint shop. The project was initially supposed to support the new model preliminary startup project, but that project was ultimately shot down by CEO Elon Musk. The CEO said the following during the 2021 Q4 earnings call. Well, we're not currently working on the, on a $25,000 car. We, you know, at some point, we will, but we have enough on our plate right now, too much on our plate, frankly. So, you know, at some point, there will be. The $25,000 vehicle was ultimately scrapped from the EIA, Tesla submitted to the government last year, as the automaker shifted to maintain its current lineup of vehicles, due to supply shortages, Pandaly said. Instead, the company added a research and development center and planned to continue to expand the Model 3 and Model Y manufacturing lines to support more production output. In June, it was rumored that the Model 3 and Model Y line upgrades were successfully underway and would be completed in early August. The expansion to both lines would increase Model Y production to 14,000 units per week, up from 11,000. Additionally, Model 3 weekly output would boost to 7,700 units, up from 5,500. Tesla completed the upgrades in late June, Shanghai's Municipal Bureau of Ecology and Environment website says. The commissioning was also finally completed on July 22. Tesla's business in China has had a difficult year due to mandatory COVID-19 shutdowns that affected the company's production and profitability. Tesla realized a quarterly revenue drop of 18.56% in Q2, according to reports. Gigafactory Shanghai fully recovered from the production shutdown in June. Moving to the next update, Tesla vehicles are increasing Hertz's customer satisfaction, still adding more EVs to the fleet. Tesla vehicles are increasing Hertz's customer satisfaction as the company gets better use of electric vehicles. The rental car company is also adding more EVs to its fleet. Last year, Hertz announced an important effort to electrify its fleet of rental cars, led by a massive purchase of 100,000 Tesla Model 3 vehicles. More recently, the company added Model Y vehicles to the order. The rental car company said that it expects to have all 100,000 Tesla vehicles by the end of 2022, though Tesla didn't seem to be completely on board with that timeline. In April, Hertz announced that it is also adding up to 65,000 electric vehicles from Polestar to its fleet over the next five years. During its Q2 2022 earnings, Hertz released some updates about its growing Tesla fleet. Hertz CEO Stephen Scher confirmed that it is still taking delivery of Tesla vehicles, and it continues to do so. Scher said that it is getting repeat customers from its Tesla fleet. The first lot we took from Tesla, relative to the most recent lot we took, have moved materially faster. 
we've learned how to move those cars where we want those cars to be. And equally, I think, we have schooled our customers on how to use them, so much so that I think there's an embedded tether there, which is people have learned how to use the card. They're coming back to use the car and rent car more frequently. And I think all of those are expressions of the first mover edge that we have around EVs. The CEO confirmed that it has rented Tesla vehicles for 160,000 days already, and customers renting Tesla vehicles from Hertz are rating them much higher than if they rent other vehicles from them. Hertz is really liking its move to electric vehicles, and Share said that we should expect them to announce more large purchases of electric vehicles in the near future. Moving to the next update, Tesla secures battery material supply deals with two big Chinese companies. Tesla has secured battery material supply deals with two large Chinese companies, according to new filings. The move aims to ensure battery supply to support its electric vehicle production through the mid-decade. Automakers who are serious about electric vehicles are currently scrambling to secure as much long-term battery supply as possible, since it will determine how many electric vehicles they are going to be able to produce. With internal combustion engine sales declining, their capacity to produce EVs will soon represent their entire production capacity and their only capacity for growth. Ford and GM both recently announced plans to secure critical minerals and battery supply to support the production of 600,000 and 1 million electric vehicles by 2025. As for Tesla, it only sells electric vehicles, and as such, the company has been securing long-term battery supply for decades now, but it is able to do it more efficiently as of late, due to its scale. The automaker is looking to exit 2022, with a production rate of about 2 million electric vehicles a year, twice what its American competitors are hoping to hit in three years. From there, Tesla aims to grow at a rate of about 50% per year, and that will require massive amount of battery materials. Now, we learn that Tesla has secured battery precursor materials through new contracts with Zhejiang Huayu Cobalt and CNGR Advanced Material in China, according to Bloomberg. Huayu Cobalt will supply processed cobalt for batteries to Tesla, from July 1, 2022, to the end of 2025, according to the filing. The miner specified that the prices of the products will be subject to market prices for nickel, cobalt, and manganese, as well as refining fees. CNGR will supply Tesla between 2023 and 2025, based on the new contract, though both companies had previously been supplying the American EV automaker. These new contracts for Tesla follow several more throughout the entire battery supply chain. In January, Tesla signed a deal to secure nickel from a new mine in the US. Tesla ended up adding another deal with an upcoming lithium mine in Australia, developed by Liontown in February. A month later, Tesla added another lithium contract with a new mine in Australia. Moving to the last update, Tesla partners with National Technical School to train next generation of EV technicians. Tesla and Lincoln Tech, a company with technical schools across the US, announced a new partnership to train next generation of electric vehicle technicians. Until 2018, Tesla had mainly been recruiting technicians who have been working for other automakers or coming out of training programs where they mainly worked on internal combustion engines. Of course, electric cars have several components in common with gas-powered cars, but the powertrains are completely different and require a significant amount of training to service them, even for an experienced auto technician. Tesla has been conducting that training internally to adapt them to their EV products. Tesla is now expanding the program through a partnership with Lincoln Educational Services Corporation. While the program is starting with Lincoln Tech's Denver, Colorado campus, the company has a dozen other schools across the U.S. where it could expand. Tesla will take over 6,000 square feet of space in the center and provide equipment and vehicles. In June, we reported on Elon Musk's announcement that Tesla is working on service in North America and how Tesla is aiming to make the majority of appointments same-day repairs. As we noted, it is much needed since Tesla's customer fleet is growing at a much faster pace than its service infrastructure. 
however, Musk didn't elaborate on how Tesla plans to achieve that. Tesla's service problem was much bigger than we anticipated, as we learned that the automaker was going as far as sending untrained employees from other departments to work on cars. The company's service division is being affected by the labor shortage. During a company-wide meeting, a week after the same-day repair announcement, Musk elaborated, after being asked by an employee. I think we still have a relatively conventional approach to servicing, although we kind of use the vehicle app. So we definitely have better servicing than the rest of the industry, but I really want Tesla to look at how we can revolutionize service, and I don't know, make it 10 times better than the rest of the industry," Musk said. The CEO said that the goal to get to two-thirds of appointments as same-day repairs is part of that mission. He said that Tesla looked at the data of all the different repairs, and he believes that most of them can be done on the same day, as long as parts are available at the service centers. Musk said that he aims for Tesla to achieve that goal with bigger centers and more specialization, meaning that each service center is going to have service bays to perform very specific services. Recently, the CEO added that Tesla is aiming for same-hour service with Formula One pit crew techniques. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.